Oh shit, I've got to get to Comic Con. I'm on my way to interview a bunch of actors about their career and roughly translate their answers in French uh, without losing rhythm and flow of the conversation. Uh, so I have to match their energy, remain malleable for their different public appearance needs, have a laugh with them, obviously, and the audience, and for goodness sake, don't ask them complex philosophical questions, will ya? I couldn't help myself and I asked some complex philosophical questions because I didn't want to ask them the same repetitive questions they get asked at every single Comic-Con they visit. I wanted to, you know, ask something that had some meat on its bones. You know, for example, what role do villains play in the narrative of heroism and are they a necessary uh, catalyst for the emergence and development of heroes? And if so, um, give me your perspective on the symbiotic relationship between good and evil. Easy. Or, for example, I asked another one that I thought was quite interesting to explore. Uh, considering aspects such as uh, the voracious consumption for more, herd mentality, uh, the subconscious, the millions of years of DNA within us, uh, the fast-paced uh, influence that technology has in our lives, uh, it's comprehensible to see humanity as zombies with delusions of sentience. Hmm? Never sure if we have free will or if we are, are under the illusion of control. And so how does one reconcile that um, complex and perhaps paradoxical possibility that we are simply automation, witness to our lives unfolding in front of our very eyes? A simple question. Now please answer it. Answer it. Answer it. They were a little... Uh, befuddled by my line of questioning. Uh, I was called by one of the guests a bizarre intellectual. And, and that was maybe one of the most complimentary things I've ever... <laughs> I've ever been told about me. I was very grateful for it. Despite some ridiculous questions, um, the guests were a pleasure to share a stage with. I got to be Tamuera Morrison's cameraman during a haka. Uh, Anthony Daniels taught me how to walk like C-3PO. It was all great, and time permitting, I was able to freeze a little slice of us in space and time. Comic cons are a strange place where the multiverse comes into contact. Like, you have to get your bags checked for weapons, but you can buy swords inside. You can meet a wheelchair-bound Wolverine, a fat Deadpool, a female Freddy Krueger, and an abundance of geeks dressing up in silly costumes, playing pretend. Which made me laugh when I thought about that, because I realised that's literally what I do for a career. <laughs> I'm out of time, so I must continue forward, and with the world resembling more and more the beginning of an apocalypse, it's difficult to know where I should go to next. Maybe the Force will be with me, or some other movie reference. Uh, thank you for watching, subscribe, comment, like, uh, how about you answer the question that I asked, huh? uh, and if not, well, enjoy the ending.